Hello everyone and welcome to my project simulation video. My name is Harsh Das, studying the course of Computer Engineering from Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology, Patiala, in second year. My roll number is 10180-33327 and batch ID is COE15. So the project I am working is for the subject Engineering Design Project 2 and my topic is Arduino based blind stick. This project is for helping the blind people in detecting an obstruction in front of them while walking. So they will be able to guide themselves in using a particular path in a safe manner. So let's begin. So as you can see the circuit diagram that I have built for the blind stick. Here you can see an Arduino Uno uh, microcontroller that is being powered uh, with the help of a 9 volt battery as you can see we are providing the input here and uh, with same thing now you can see that here's uh, an ultrasonic distance sensor which will which plays the key role in detecting the obstruction that is coming in uh, between them so it is being powered with the help of Arduino by providing a VCC and ground now furthermore the the trigger and echo is connected with on the Arduino board on pin number 13 and 12 respectively and here this is the piezo element which is used as the buzzer so whenever it is going to detect uh, an obstruction the buzzer is going to ring itself and uh, we are providing it power with the help of pin number 6 and giving it a ground a specific ground I hope you got the circuit diagram uh, concept now let's begin with the code okay now just to give you a summary of what I have made the connections let's just uh, let me just put my code and define the pin numbers that I have used for uh, for the connection right like for connecting the trigger I have used pin number 13 right and uh, let's talk about uh, the echo pin I have connected it to terminal 12 and the buzzer or the piezo or the piezo that I just showed you was connected to pin number 6 right let me just write the code all right so let's start by providing the setup code by defining the variables or the pins that we are going to use right okay all right so initially I am going to define the trigger pin and we'll set it for output because that's what we want right now let's set the echo pin is doing the same uh, solving the same purpose it is giving us output isn't it okay and next thing we will declare for the buzzer As you can see the echo pin gathers the information that we are providing so it is used for input okay now here now we have completed the setup code and let's begin with the main body or we can say the loop that we are going to execute okay let's begin all right so now what generally we do that for running the ultrasound the ultrasound sound sensor we have to initialize it by uh, low for turning off and turning on the respective pins so for that for initial stage we are going to trigger the pin as low and let's add some delay for only microseconds of course because of course uh, that's how we are going to detect the the distance that we are going to cover right and now I'll come to that point later on but 
let's first initialize it okay and now I am going to write it or triggering it as hi and will assign a delay of of 10 milliseconds all right super and then again we have to trigger the pin back to off that means low of course because you, of course so you can't keep it on right for that long all right so now what we have to do now there are th we all know the formula that distance is equal to speed into time right and that's how we are going to measure the distance between the sensor and the obstruction and uh, now what we are going to do that the sound we know that the speed of sound is 34300 zero zero centimeter per second right and uh, we are going to set the delay accordingly that or we can say that the delay uh, will be accurate right uh, we uh, we have to define that how much distance or duration that uh, it will take right it's 145 okay it's 145 all right fine no issues now we are going to calculate the obstruction so for that we will need two variables that is let's say duration and distance our main purpose will be solved with the help of distance variable and we are using duration so that we can calculate the distance right so first of all let's just initialize first let us give a value to duration which will be which can be done with the help of pulse in and whenever the echo pin is going to work accordingly the duration will be given uh, will be set to the to the variable and for the calculating the distance we are going to write the formula that we have been using for quite long right that that's a formula like distance is equal to time into speed so duration into 0 0.034 divided by 2 now the question arises that why are we using divided by 2 now you see that thing is that how a sensor works whenever it is detecting an obstruction first of all it will bounce towards the object and then it will return back so as you see that it is transversing twice so of course we have to uh, so the duration will be calculated accordingly right so that's why we are dividing the distance by two so that we get the exact uh, obstruct uh, the distance between the sensor and the uh, and the obstruction i hope you understood this part all right now let's set a condition for the obstruction if distance is going to be less than 80 80 centimeters like the the si unit that we are going to use here that the other default unit we are using here is centimeters right and if the distance is going to be less than 80 so the digital right we will turn on the buzzer and for turning it on we are going to set it on high right and and of course uh, only one condition is left and that is else and we will set the buzzer to low right uh, perfect and now further on let's just add delay so that uh, it gets a uniformity to the code to the to the functioning right so here's a uh, full code that we are going to implement on our arduino circuit board and it is going to work accordingly right i hope you got the concept that i have applied through the code now let's begin with the simulation all right okay just hold on a second um let's start the simulation now let's click here
now as you can observe here like you can see the distance between the obstruction and the sensor right it is currently 159.7 cm now if you and uh, if you observe if you remember that i have set the code if the distance is going to be less than 80 cm then the buzzer will ring now let's see let's observe it closely now as you can see the distance is less than 80 cm the buzzer is ringing i'm afraid you are not able to hear the audio uh, but as you can see you can uh, recognize it through here right let's put it away once again and now you can see the buzzer has been turned off see that's how the circuit is working right so of course the arduino concept has helped us in so many different projects other than uh, working on this on this topic like for example if you are going to create a counter for a certain project that if you have wanted to count from 10 to 1 and 10 to 0 or let's talk about uh, the concept that people use like seven segment coding uh, seven segments uh, which is used for converting a decimal number to binary to hexagon or octal so arduino i prefer arduino system to be the most suitable one because it helps us in coding uh, it pro in simulation with you know uh, it uh, eases our, our job right so i hope you were able to understand the project that i have shown thank you so much have a nice day and if you like this video please click on like and share button and comment if you want to provide some info to this or some corrections that you or some improvisations that you want to give Thank you so much.